Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, while searching for content ideas, I came across something interesting. The new Hydrain E1.1 model. It's an image editing model similar to Context Flux, but with a big improvement. It doesn't have the 786 by 786 resolution limit that the older version had. I was really surprised, especially because if you remember in the previous version, you couldn't go beyond that size. So when I checked the Hugging Face page, I noticed this model had only around 100 downloads and almost no one even was talking about it which made me even more curious so i decided i had to test it out and make a video about it so i opened comfy ui and started building the workflow first the model group then the image upload section i always reuse the resize image node v2 in my workflow specially then I created a sampling group and added all the necessary sampling nodes. After connecting everything properly, it was finally time to test the model. And I was excited to see how it would perform. So creating a workflow from scratch can take a lot of time. Trust me, I have spent hours just connecting nodes and debugging weird issues. That's exactly why I put together a free download to save you time. Just head over to aistudynow.com. Every post has a free workflow download section. All you need to do is enter your email address. You'll receive a verification email in your inbox. I know it can be a little frustrating, but it's only once. Once you verify, you won't have to do it again. And from that point on, you'll be able to download any workflow instantly whenever you visit aistudynow.com. And if you don't receive the verification email, feel free to reach out to us. I'll be happy to verify your email manually. And here is the best part. If you don't want to connect with us, you can unsubscribe anytime. Just one click. So before we run the workflow, let's quickly go over the files you will need. First is model file. You'll need the Hydrain E1 full BH16 model. There's also an FP8 version available if you have low VRAM. You can place either model in your ConfUI models diffusion model folder. There is also a GGUF version in quantizations from Q2 to Q8. Lower Q equals to less VRAM use. Higher Q equals to better results. Next is VAE file. You'll also need to download the corresponding VAE file and save it into your models VAE folder. The third one is text encoder files. So here you'll need four text encoder files. Clip I, Clip G, L Lama, 3.18B Instruct FP8, and T5 Double XL FS8. Please download all four and place them in your models text encoder folder. They are available in both Safe Tensors and GGUF formats. Use what your system supports. 
and yeah it's a few files but once it's all set up this model will run smoothly so while creating this workflow i have realized that many users prefer using gguf models instead of safe tensors especially those with lower vram so i decided to add built in support for gguf in this workflow now you can easily switch between regular models and gguf versions so here is how to use the gguf option for the main model in the model loader bypass the standard load diffusion model node then unbypass the gguf loader condenser model node and set it to the high dream e1 model and for the text encoder bypass the default quadruple clip loader unbypass the quadruple gguf loader then connect the clip nodes to the corresponding set high dream clip input nodes that's it with just a few changes your workflow will run smoothly using gguf files now put this workflow on test if it's working or not so let's test the workflow in the documentation it mentions 1m pixel but honestly it's really hard for a human to visually judge or calculate the exact pixel count of an image just by looking at it that got me thinking there has to be a better way and here is the solution i came up with using the math expression node in confui and here is how i did it first i connected the image with width and image height output expression node or match extension with formula support in the formula box i entered a into b where a is width and b is height this gives the total number of pixels width and height as a result now no matter the resolution we can instantly see the exact pixel count making it easy to verify if it's close to 1 and 1 million pixels or more this small addition makes the workflow much more user friendly now we always know the actual pixel count without guessing so let's talk about the examples here i have uploaded an image of a woman wearing a blue dress my goal was simple change the dress color to red so in the prompt i just wrote change the color of the women's dress to red after clicking run the math node showed the total pixel count over 1.5 million well above the recommended 1 million and then the wait began more than 11 minutes passed and it was still stuck at just 9 steps so if you have seen my older image to video tutorials you know i usually get results in under 1 minute so this was extremely frustrating i had no choice but to step away and come back later so when i returned the process was finally done and it took 42 minutes for a blurry low quality output seriously 
the result shocked me so i thought maybe it's not the model alone maybe i need to optimize things so i decided to update my confi ui to the la- latest version and then try again with a smaller image under 1 million pixels so i reuploaded the same image resized to 600 by 877 pixels now showing around 500k pixels which is half of million on the math node now this time the result generated in just 1 minute which is totally acceptable especially when using the fp16 model even though the speed improved dramatically the output still had issues the colors were distorted the dress di- did turn red but the tone looked off oversaturated and unnatural so why performance got better the quality still needs work so after analyzing everything i noticed that cfg con 2 negative was set to 4 then i changed it to 2 and also adjusted cfg cons to 2 then ran the test again and this time the result definitely improved but honestly i wasn't fully impressed yes it did successfully change the dress color from blue to red which is good but the colors came out overly enhanced almost popped too much the vibrancy felt unnatural like the ai boosted saturation beyond what looked realistic now so here i initiated another example and in that i uploaded a blurry image of neo in his iconic power pose filled with bullets all around him and my goal to see if the model could cleanly remove all the bullets while preserving the scene exactly as it was <laughs> so here is the prompt i gave remove bullets from the scene leaving only new in his power pose and finally the result it shocked me every single bullet was gone perfectly erased and new remained untouched in his original pose amazing then i gave the same task to context flux which has always been my favorite it also removed the bullets successfully but there was one issue it slightly altered new's hand position even though i never asked for any change that made the output less accurate but just to be fair i removed the la- that line for the high dream test to make the prompts equal still context flux delivered a cleaner more faithful edit <laughs> then i tested the woman in the blue dress again this time with context flux and once again context worn the color change was subtle and natural very close to the original tone just shifted to red so when you zoom in even the transparent areas of the dress were handled perfectly there were no weird artifacts no transparency glitches nothing honestly looking at the final image no one would ever guess the dress color was changed 
it just looks like an original red dress photo so at this point i don't think i need to run more tests the results speak for themselves now it's up to you to decide which model works best for your needs i have shared both workflows in the description feel free to download and try them yourself so that's all for today's video if you found this comparison helpful please like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more deep dives like this one thanks for watching bye bye